I've been trying to make this, get ready for this video forever. Well, not forever, for over a month. I've been working. I've been, this has been in my head. This is my head. This has been in my head. It is the battle of the blue-green palettes. What you say, yes, we are battling it out. We're going to talk about all the blue-green palettes I have, my thoughts on them, and yes. So if you want to hear about some blue-green palettes, because y'all know I've been living for blue, for green, and all that up, and in between. I had to do it. I had to do it. It was calling for that rhyme. All right, let's talk about them. All right, so let's talk about blue green palettes. Now, before anybody comes for me who watches this video, who doesn't normally watch me and might possibly find this, yes, I know that what's her name, Butte Bean, did this first. She's done her whole battle. However, I was already planning it, so I don't care, but I will say that. And I haven't even looked at hers, honestly, but I will put it in my description box just because I'm that chick. All right, so let's talk about blue-green eyeshadow palettes. Now, let's just talk. Now, the thing that brought us here was, and I'm going to try to find a picture of it, was the Tarte Icy Bitch, right? That was the Tarte Icy Bitch. We all know what happened last year, 2018, April Fool's. Tarte did the whole little April Fool's and just just shut the internet down everybody was like see this is the kind of shit y'all need to be doing everybody was pissed going off talking about them yes 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 so with that then i you know a makeup company saw you know they want some blue shadows you know they want some blue greens they want this they want these colors we didn't think they did we thought they was all about the warm tones we thought they was all about warm reds and neutrals but no they want some they want blue and green so then it started up that was the beginning that was the beginning that was the beginning. I'm going to go in order. I'm going to talk about them in order. Talk about them and see. Now, so, who came for them? Face Candy. Face Candy came with the Atlantis palette. Now, you had um, Sydney Grace. You had Davina. They were doing bundles based on the, the colors, you know, the shades they have. But I don't have those. I ain't going to lie. But I'm talking about straight face eye, eyeshadow palettes. So, Atlantis. Face candy, you know, bad habit in face candy. Rest in peace, both of them. R.I.P. to the face candy and to the bad habit. They, you know, they came first with it. Now, let's just talk about this palette. First off, it was very inexpensive. If you if you got it, man, good good going for you because it is actually is a very good palette. I know people, you're not. Oh, it's not that great. What did I pay for? Maybe twelve dollars. I'm going to say, and I, here's what I'm going to always say, and I'm going to start saying this. I don't ever want it to be like, oh, for the price, it's good. No, I don't ever think like that because it's all about your budget. If $12 is like, that's my budget, you want a good quality. You you know, it's not fair to say that you shouldn't be getting because you pay $12 when you get what you pay for. No, I think, I know, listen, makeup don't cost that much to make. So to have a good quality palette that costs $12 is not that hard to do. So I'm saying that this, I love this palette. This was a very good iteration of the whole blue icy vetch vibe. They took exactly pretty much what they did and then tried to, you know, that's what face candy and bad habit does. They replicated it and they did a really good job of it. Um, they have, you know, it was, it had the very, the, the, um, deep blues and the blue greens and then it has the blue shimmers so it was a very pretty palette i've used it i mean the blues are nice no complaints about them you know you will get a beautiful deep dark beautiful um and then it has the the whites and everything so it gives you everything you need 
it did give you what you needed to make a really nice look i did greens i t went toward the greens because when everybody was getting it they went toward the blues because everybody was like oh my god look at these blues so i was kind of more into the greens of this palette and i did a really pretty green look with it i'm going to try to see if i can find it and put a picture up here but that's not guaranteed because it's it was on my old phone and i have to see if i can find it you know how you know y'all know how that is so anyway that's what this was the one that began it this was a good this was a nice one no no lies it was a nice one nice one no complaints i loved it um if you have that you don't even need honestly you don't need anything else i mean really um me i'm obsessive you know i'm obsessive and i want to try them all and every time i see them i say oh they got a little something different oh let me try it let me try it so now let's go on. I'm going to go in the order of when I receive them and talk about them. All right. So then next up, Tara said, okay, fine. We're going to try to do this right. Everybody gave us a hell. We're going to come with the icy batch. we going to come with it. Well, they came with it and everybody was mad because instead of just doing the palette that they created, the, the mock-up, they came with this. Now, of course, my highlighter is gone. I didn't care about my highlighter anyway. And honestly, this is more of a blue palette than a blue-green palette. I think they should have gotten rid of this, put in like two or three. They could have put in about four more shades right there. It would have been, you know, a gorgeous palette. They would have, it would have knocked everybody out. It, it would have knocked everybody out. However, I do have a review of this, and it's a good palette for $24 from Tarte. I like the price point of it, it's $24. I think this is a good palette for someone who wants to play with blues, but isn't really gonna be committing themselves to the whole blue look. You know, this is a really, the I have done a you know review on it. I will put the, I will put any videos that I have in reference to these, in reference to these palettes in the description box but i think this is a really good palette the quality is excellent i mean there you cannot deny i mean look at how beautiful that turk that turquoise color is this is beautiful i really like it i i this this is like one of those blue palettes like if you're going out of town and you think you're gonna wear some hot little outfit and you want to wear a blue look this would be the one you would take with you because it would be small enough to fit into your bags but but packs a great punch so i think this is a really nice one and here's another one of them here's another one of them that you know not a lot of fallout the shimmers are intense you know put spray them with a spray them and they are gorgeous oh, gorgeous so yes I, I this is a good palette to have like i said it's a great palette for somebody who wants to play with blues but isn't gonna be you know comfortable with oh i'm gonna be you know doing like whole blue eye looks it's 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 user friendly it's beginner friendly for the point from the fact that the colors are not so vibrant they're you know a little bit more toned down blues that would make it easier to even just use it for pops of color in your in your eyeshadows so if you got really a neutral look let me hint brown and blue looks really good so if you're doing like a little brown look or you know and you want to pop a little color in boom you could just take one of these i'm telling you a brown crease with that right there oh, that would be so pretty so you, you know you know do a brown crease you know do a little brown and then do blue in your brown and blue look real cute together i'm just saying all right so that's it now next up next up is this one this is the certified affinity palette now affinity 2 palette i'm sorry i saw this and they were doing like the um reveals of it and i was like oh yeah i gotta have it i have got to have it i mean it's got all these blues in it it's got all these beautiful greens in it then they threw in a little silver because i i think sometimes you could do a little you know a little few different colors in it so i was like oh yes oh yes now i do have a look using this i will put it at the end so you can see but i'm gonna tell you right now uh no this is an okay palette um 
I was very, I, I had high hopes for it. You know, I, I waited, I did the pre-order, I waited for it to come. I was like, yes, you know, came from England, from the UK. I was like, okay, yes, yes, let's do this. And I was disappointed. And here's where I'm gonna say where I'm disappointed. They, so here's my problems with it, and you will see. This color right here, this green, the blues are decent. The blues are doable, yes they are. Not the best blues, but they are doable. They are, they, these are kind of dry to the touch. You know, um, the, the blues are not that pa are not super patchy or anything. But where they lack in this in, in this palette is the greens. And I went and did a green look. This color right here, when I it looks real cute in the pan. And if you swatch it, you will see it just doesn't have the intensity of what it looks like in the pan. The pan right there, see how pretty and green it is. And then when you get it, it's like this. So I was having a trouble. I had trouble with it because I had to keep building up and trying to build it up and trying to build it up. And it was just not building up for me. It was like, it just didn't give me the color I was looking for. Oh, they shortened it up on us. Okay. It just didn't give me the intensity I was looking for. The light greens were fine. Like this one is nice. It comes out beautiful, very impactful, very, you know, it does work with the colors. Um, you know, it does come out the colors and it blends really well. But I also found the shimmers weren't that great. Now, I kind of was expecting that because I had heard some things, you know, about their shimmers that were like, they're okay. They're okay, but they're like not the best. Now, this one in particular irritates my soul. It's called Sha I And I, this is the one that I really wanted it to be something. But you see how it looks on my hand? This thing is the lightest. It's, you barely get, uh, it, it gives you a pretty dual chrome, but you barely get any with a brush. You got to pat it on. It just doesn't really give you a lot. It's very, mm -mm. it's very no. It's just a no. It's a no for me. It's a no. So, um, so when it comes down to these blue green palettes, this just did not do it for me. I would not, this is not something that I recommend you go get, uh, because it will not give you what you want in, in for a blue green palette. You'll be able to make some pretty looks. Don't get me wrong, but you got 18. And then if there's so many, if it's, you know, we're going, you're getting it shipped over from the UK and it's not good enough, then uh, I, I mean, it was, the pricing wasn't that bad. I can't remember what the pricing is. I guess I have to put it up here. But it was just that from a standpoint of just getting, you know, wanting to use it again. No, this is like, I wouldn't pull it out again. It looks really pretty, like the look, but from a user standpoint, it just doesn't cut it because like I said, the colors are not all true. The blues are great. The greens are the ones that are lacking where they are more difficult to work with. They just don't, this one, the same thing with this one. It just, they just didn't give me this color that I was looking for. And then when you really look at the palette itself, it's just, it just seems like a lot of blues and greens that were thrown together and they just, they really don't make you think, oh, I want to make a look with this. I mean, honestly, it, it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work together as well as I, I wanted it to. And, and, and probably I bought it cause I was so excited. It was a blue green palette and I really didn't look at the palette itself and say, oh, okay, no, maybe not. Because when you look at the greens, the greens are just kind of all over the place. The blues are nice. If you look in the blue section, really pretty. You can see what you could do with this. But the greens are like, where, where are we going with this? Where are we going with this? It was just like, oh, well, look, let's just throw some greens in. Let's just throw, and that's my personal opinion. Because they really just, mm, they, they didn't, and they didn't, they didn't seem to me to want to make new, more looks with it. So that's my thoughts on the Certify Affinity 2. Now, next up, I received, I had gotten, was the Ace Beauté Oceanic Palette. 
Now, I love the way Ace Butte does their thing because they don't do a huge, they, they, haven't, been, they haven't been doing since the Paradise um, collection, this long process of revealing. It's like they tell you and then they reveal it. It, it wasn't like a long wait for the reveal. Because I got to be honest, them daily color reveals irritate my soul on IG. But that's just me. So here it is. Gorgeousness. I am wearing her today. I have filmed this bit, this look. I don't know if this is going to be in here though. I guess maybe I should because I am loving this eye look. This is the second one I've done that I filmed. There is another one. I will put that video in. But anyway, let's just talk about this. This is a beautiful, intense blue-green palette. Now, the quality is the same. If you have the flare palette, this is the same quality as the flare. I think they improved their, um, their eyeshadows when they got to the flare palette because I like all the other ones I have before them, but I, have, I can see the improvement in the shadows. These shadows are butter. They, they, they blend very beautifully and easily. You, you know, like for instance, the one thing I will say, I'm, I'm learning how to work with shadows better. You know, at, the new thing is everybody wants to pack on color and then blend out the edges. Not every um, eyeshadow is good for that. Yes, now you can do this with this, but understand when you're dealing with deep colors like this and you try to pack that stuff on like that, you are going to wind up with fallout. So, but but you don't have to do that with this to get the intensity of the colors. You can windshield wiper it on and then buff it in and you buff those edges and that will be just as intense. Yes, it might take a couple of layers to get the super intensity that you want, but better to do that than have fallout all over your face. With that being said, the things that I was worried about the most, of course, were the deeper colors. And I have put all of these on my eyes, play with them, and this bright. This bottle, this this green is everything. Um, you know, I do have swatches. I do have a swatch video with this one. And I think the certified, I did those on in one thing. So like I said, I'll have this the greens are intense and beautiful and when you put them on the brush they come out this exact color and that's what you want like this one right here oh look at that beautiful bright ass green look now and what i was really concerned about because when you're doing stuff like this you really have to be concerned about the deeper ones because the deep colors are where things can go a little awry and now i'm just going to show you this deep ass blue this blue is freaking ridiculous. Ridiculous. It's so deep. And so is this green. And so with it, it gives you everything. If you want to do a blue-green look or you want to do a green look, this gives you everything you need to get a good look. Now, are they going to stain because everybody... Okay, with just using a makeup remover, they are going to stain. However... I do other things to get everything off. This one does, actually doesn't stain that much, but, you know, use a cleansing balm. I mean, you got this intense ass colors on your lip. So anyway, anyway, the colors, the, the mattes just glide on. They blend so beautifully together. The, now these are, um, the shimmers are kind of um, densely packed. So they're not super soft. They're soft, but they're not like soft where they're crumbly. They're not crumbly at all. They're very dense. They're kind of densely packed. So you will need, you know, you can pick them up with a brush. I would suggest spraying them just to get a better intensity. Use your fingers. Beautiful. But you really don't have to like, for instance, this one, Bora Bora, in my inner corner, no spray or anything. And it, and it gives you a nice intensity. I would say the, the Bora Bora is the easiest to get your intensity. The one that I would say you would definitely want to spray is Bay, because it is, you know, you're gonna get that blue, but you wanna make it pop. You need to give it a little, you know, spray to give it a little zhuzh to it. Now, when when I play with this, this really does inspire me. It really does. Um, but I will say this, this is not for everybody. 
bit kind of busy this morning. It's like seven something in the morning. What y'all? Okay, that's probably in. Okay, that might be an ambulance. People get sick all day. Okay, Louise, quit tripping. Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> I don't care about them doing it. It's just wow. This is. It's just. And look at that beautiful. This one is jellyfish right there. Like I said, the shimmers are so gorgeous. The shimmers are just banging and popping all over. Now, as I was saying, this is not for everybody. And the reason why I say that are these colors are intense. They are intense. If you like the colors, but you're kind of like, oh, I don't know if I should get them. Here's what you want to do with them. You want to use these as accent colors. For somebody like me, yes, I will come out and rock a whole blue look or green look or whatever. But if that is too much for you, what I would suggest is if you really love the colors, if you really want to have them, look at them as accent colors to give you pops in your looks. So this is these are good to work with neutral colors and because these are cool tones you could you could pair this with grays you could pair this like i said blue and brown is a beautiful combination blue, brown and green looks good trees are brown and green so you can use these and do different things like you could have a really beautiful like deep brown and then pop that green right there that one algae right there into your you know and do a matte look and then just pop that green right into your lid you know oh would that be hot and you just like a deep brown with the with that going on and then i would take this right here so i to blend it i would use this the seagrass to blend it with a deep brown Ooh, that sounds good and then put this in the crease and then put this in the lid so just have like the outer corner this deep brown and then have you know your seagrass and then you can have a lighter brown on top oh, oh. could you see that can you see because i could see it okay anyway but anyway it is worth the, the price tag it is a really beautiful palette if you think you want it, I would suggest get it. And plus, oh, um, Ace Butte does do sales all the time. And this is permanent. I like things that are permanent. All right, now the final one right here is my Whale Song by Menagerie Cosmetics. It should have been here longer, but you know, there were issues with their manufacturer and everything. It's not their fault. Indies, you know, it is a, it is a, it is a thing that happens with indie brands. But I like the fact that they were very much on point on keeping us in, in the loop on what was happening, what were the delays about and everything. So I love this palette. I love them for it. First off, I love that the artwork. Just like I love this Oceanic. I don't know where they got this from, but I love the, the artwork on that one. But let's talk about this one. Now, first off. I have already done a first impression. I have done swatches. I have done all that. So when I show you this, it's go, <gasps> if you haven't seen it yet. <sighs> so I was messing around and this thing fell straight down this in this direction. Boom. When I picked it up, I was sick. And when I picked it up, these two were the casualties. Now, the interesting thing is, I actually have some colors that I can put in here that are similar. How, but I have reached out to um, Samantha, I think that's her name, of Menagerie Cosmetics. And they these will be available as singles. So whenever, I, so whenever they come in as singles, I could just replace those instead of trying to replace the whole palette, which is awesome. Now, with that being said, yes, Menagerie Cosmetics does sell all of theirs as individuals. So if you don't necessarily want this whole palette, you can just pick and choose what colors you want. Because theirs aren't bad. I think their mattes are $4. Their shimmers, I think, are $5. So that's not bad. However, this is a let's talk about the palette. Now, this palette is a much more subdued blue. It's like taking the icy bitch and expanding it because if you think about it let me let me put that down real nice like if you look at them they do have some similarities right they are they do have similarities in their colors now so if you are looking for something that so if you want to play with blues but you don't want to go as intense as the oceanic this is a beautiful palette um, it gives you the the like 
the cooler tones and the blues it's like the blue grays in here whereas oceanic is very deep and vibrant this is a very muted now but let me just tell y'all this this one called breaching this is one of the best dark brown blues i have ever played with now it has a little gray so it's a little grayer whereas the oceanic one is a, is a deep midnight blue this one has a little gray undertones to it so it's not quite as intense but baby it oh when you play when you're using it <gasps> oh my goodness it just glides on and it and it blends on it blends beautifully and the thing is is that i like menagerie cosmetics her formulation her formulation is on point glides on now let me just say a few things that i, I before i forget um after i you know have gotten my impressions of this palette i watched a couple of reviews and there was some talk about fallout and staining so here's what i'm going to say about those two things no the reason why i'm going to say that is first off i watched their the way they were putting it on they were packing it on they were doing the packing thing where you pack it on they were putting it on it was very intense let me just say this you don't have to pack these on these are pigments you just need a very small amount and you can glide them on and you will get the intensity you want. You don't have to pack it on, that whole packing on and blending the edges, no. Do traditional, grab you some, tap it off, you know, blend it in. And what I use when I, if you, you know, to get, like especially in the crease, I use more of a, a flat and then just brought it in and didn't necessarily do a tapping, but a light buff in. And it was and it was perfect. It worked just right. And now in reference to the staining, yes, my hand is stained right now because I just used a makeup remover. How about this? If you I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's something different with their skin, but okay, yeah, you might get if you're using a makeup remover. However, if you take a balm like I do when I'm taking off my makeup, it just glides right off. So that I'm here to say there are no staining issues. You are not going to be stained up. If you remove your makeup correctly, which is you can't just use a makeup wipe. You need to use something like a balm. These are intense colors. This isn't some neutral browns or something like this. These are intense colors. So, so do be mindful and do how you need to. So anyway, back to this once again the the i just love her form formula and i love this colors because like i said it's a more muted down this is like something you could wear during the day these are this is a blue green palette just like the icy bench for every day this is the kind that if you wanted to rock it out had on a cute little jean outfit and wanted to do a blue eye but you didn't want to go that deep on the blues like the oceanic you put this on right you get this then you do like this you come up in here right there and then do that deep blue and then just pop a little well this is a green one this is a pearl and then pop this on top of there and then you would have the intense blue outfit look blue jean outfit and you'd be like dang look at her eyes and when it comes down to the greens you have pretty greens and then you also have these kind of like this color right here is more of a it's like a it's like a mustardy yellow which i kind of like which i kind of like oh i got other stuff on it's that mustardy it's kind of like a, a a mustardy green i want to say which is a really pretty transition color so she's giving you nice transitions that will layer and give your look a much bolder more um cutting edge look as opposed to you know doing like a basic color and i'm so happy that she did not do like a black in here she did this deep blue and then this right here which is like this this uh olivey green you know look at that olivey green right there that's it i got so much stuff on here that olivey green let me just wipe off a little bit of something that that is so beautiful to do with a a nice green look but once again it's not as intense so i think this is a beautiful path you know so when it comes down to the palettes let's just you know let's let me just go over my thoughts so when it comes down to these palettes and ranking these palettes um which i guess you know we're gonna do a little ranking right quick 
uh, for real? No. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. I say no to the affinity too. Um, then I would say, honestly, I'm going to say the Atlantis. And honestly, this isn't like ranking these four is just based on preference and everything because I think they all are really good for different reasons. But I will say, like, I would say, like, the Atlantis and the Icy Betch are the next ups that I would say. I know y'all don't believe, but I do love this palette. And then of the two, then the last ones are the Whale Song and the Oceanic. Now, I got to be honest. These are my favorites of them. I like the Atlantis, love the Icy Bitch, but these two are my favorites. And I would say they rank the same way, mainly because their color stories are so different, but similar. So, yes, these are both blue-green palettes, but they do two different, total different things. You know, this is such an intense, such a beautiful, intense blue-green palette that this is for somebody who really, you know, is like an IG person. Are you doing really intense, you know, eye looks like that? Whereas Whale Song is more for somebody, for the everyday person who wants to really do some blue looks, but doesn't want that, that, intensity that this that the oceanic has this is for somebody who's really into something or if you just want pops of color you want pots of blue and green you want to have that you know every once in a while throw it in but this is the one that i would say for somebody who is going to do a blue look but they don't want the blue look to be this intense you could come up with a beautiful blue and green look that wouldn't that would be i'm not gonna say let i'm not gonna say um more every day but would be easier to manage for some you know the looks would be easier to manage because they wouldn't stand out as much but they would still give you a beautiful blue green blue green look all right so i have gone on and on about these palettes i didn't know it was gonna be this long all right so thank you for hanging out if you have these palettes or you have blue green palettes let me know what you think i'm gonna try not to buy any more i i think i'm good except for i'm probably gonna buy some blues and greens from sydney grace but i, I i'm good i'm good on these pal on the blue greens i don't think i need another one i think i have if another one comes out I, I'm, I'm gonna try to stay away from it i promise you i i am because i have enough blue and green uh, blue green palettes all right so let me know if you have any which, which ones you have do you like them what are your thoughts on them would love to hear about them in the comments oops my bad let's go on and watch that um affinity to tutorial I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it out it was too long but y'all gonna see what happened all right it's your Lulu. talk to y'all later Okay, so um, I started out with Fraz, which is like a very pretty green. Now that one was easy to work with, really easy to get the color build up, you know, nice. Then I used Nawab, which is the, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, baby blue matte. And I used that on top to blend it out and, and clean up the edges and just give it a good gradient effect. All right, so then next up I used Shazad. And this is where it started getting irritating because that color is a deep deep it looks like a foresty green in the pan but as you can see there's hardly any color showing up on me it was very frustrating i just want i was looking to like do a deep crease color no nah, that wasn't happening mm -mm, not at all so then i continued to use uh shazai and then i changed my brush i said maybe it was the brush still you see how the color was just not coming out for me So then I used Shamel and I, I, I cleaned my crease, my lid up, and then I used Shamel, which is a which is a lighter green, and I wanted to use that as a matte, and I used that as a base color on my uh, lid, which, once again, the lighter greens are beautiful. You see how pretty that is? Oh, um, okay. All right, so now I'm trying to use Shafai 
which is the lightest um, it's like a white you know shimmer so it was like mm, okay and it was okay you know it did work and then I used the shoe hybe which is that um, it's that one that is like the duo chromy gray now on top of it's a it's a good topper I would not probably use it by itself but top putting it on top of another one with some spray <clears throat> came out really nice <clears throat> no complaints at that point but it just wasn't as intense as I wanted it but it was okay it was okay So I continued to try to build up the color in the crease with the Shazad. And then I even tried to put some of that Albert, which is the olive green, which was not that good. So I kept working on it. So that's when I started putting the Albert in, trying to like do something, do something with the color with the olive green, do, you know, do get something going. All right, so this took forever and I got really frustrated. So I'm gonna stop now and I'm not gonna stop this and then let you see the look. All right, so here is the look. Now, all in all, it came out just it came out okay. It looks, you know, if I if you didn't know, if I didn't tell you that, you know, I had problems with it, you probably think, "Oh, she, you know, it was a nice look." But it really was difficult. It really didn't come out the way I expected. The colors were the pigmentation was not there. The blendability, it blended fine, but it just wasn't the pigmentation just wasn't there. So, you know, here it is. I hope you like it. Um, but it was all right. All right, so let me show you this one. This is, I started out with Blue Clam, and that was like the navy blue. It's more of a navy blue in the palette. It's not quite the darkest blue, but it's like the next to darkest blue in the palette. It's a beautiful navy blue, and it works really easy. And I just wanted to show you all how easy the Oceanic palette really worked, as opposed to the Affinity palette, Affinity 2 palette by Certify, which was a struggle, whereas this was not just like, it was like, three colors boom I got this the look no and then I, it was four colors actually which I forgot to show you all how I did that um yeah let me so yes I'm using the blue clam to create the the crease and you know just blending it out into the outer V just a little bit Now I have to say this is one of my favorite looks and I always say that but this this look was so easy and I really am getting into doing smoky eyes so I really wanted to play all of a sudden I just wanted to do this beautiful blue smoky eye. So next up I'm using Bali which is the lightest blue in the in the palette trying to work on the gradient to blend in the top of the the uh, blue clam so it wouldn't be such a harsh line and give it a nice beautiful gradient because you always want to have a nice gradient effect so you want to have that going from light to darker all right next up I'm using Lagoon and Lagoon is just so easy to work with I mean I'm just packing it on I'm packing it on baby and it, it just look at that deep deep blue I mean it's like midnight blue just gorgeous and it didn't you there was no fallout you know with me packing it it wasn't any fallout you know it just it worked beautifully now because I for the sake of this video I had to cut out some so what I'm going to tell you is that the next thing I did was I took bay which is a um, blue shimmer the deep blue shimmer spray my brush and then I packed that on top of lagoon to give it a, a slightly shimmery effect on the um, the look and so for the purposes we're gonna stop here and now I'm gonna let you see the full look which you already seen because it was in the, the video all right so here's the finished look like I said I used bay on the lid and I uh, used sprayed that on and when you know packed that on top of the the lagoon to give it a more uh, shimmer you know more shimmery effect all right so that was it love this look love it love it love it And as always, it's your Lulu. Be bold, be brave, be fearless, be a blue, green, mermaidy goddess. Talk to you later.